Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, we'll be getting into the second way of passing the, where are they? Knots with a casualty. Let's get into it. First, I want to tell you that this rope, this here, it's just here to give me some control of my orientation towards you guys. There's no other use than that. Otherwise, I will be spinning and having my back facing towards you and you won't be able to see anything. In the first video, I shown you what I think is a very good way of passing the knots with a casualty. And you can see it up there, of course, or in the description below. It's a very easy way, but there is an easier way. Let me do this up a little bit more. There is an easier way, however, not all assessors accept it, but it's far, far easier. Usually the constraint of the exercise is that your ropes don't touch the ground. They're like a half a meter or a meter above. So if you would do this trick, then you won't be able to make it to the ground. But let's say my ropes are long enough. This is the damage part. So what if I tie a new? butterfly or make this larger and I can just make a rope to rope transfer. So let's see what that would look like. I will make a new extra large butterfly. Twist one, twist two. I will need to stress this a little bit more after it's tight because the higher I make this, the more room I have to move. So I will move it up a little bit, like so, make this one longer. So now this would be the damage part. So I have a perfectly good piece of rope underneath me, so I can just make a rope to rope transfer. It can be so easy. I will take out my friction beaner for now. I will put in my new descender and I will thread it through both my D-ring and the short connection to the casualty. I'm working with rigs, by the way, not IDs, but any, uh, any descender that's rated for two persons will work. So. New descender is on. I go down a little bit. I can see the knot tightening. Tighten some stretch, stretch, stretch. That's one. So both ropes are on tension. I can move my backup device over to my old rope. And I've passed the knots on one side. I take out the rope. So that's one, because now I'm underneath this one. But there's one more coming. Move over the friction carabiner to the new descender. And keep mining those ropes. I will stop for a second to see where the knot is. That's where the knot is. And I go down, 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 down. And now if I don't have extra ASAPs, I need to do the same trick again and make a rope to rope transfer. But luckily my casualty has an ASAP. That's all he has because he doesn't even have cowtails. So I descend a little bit more. Like so. Now I'm like below my ASAP. I take off my old one. And I've passed the ropes. It can be so easy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay connected. Hit that notification bell to always be notified of a new video. This exercise was sponsored by Industrieel Klimme, the beautiful training center in the north of the Netherlands, just the north of Amsterdam. 
And you can come here for your GWO training, your IRATA training, your basic working at heights training, and any training related to those subjects. There's a beautiful store behind this wall. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the web store. If you use the link in the description and my code, you will get a nice little discount and you will support the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.